Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my dinner pack Minecraft Let's Play. In the last episode we made an automated farm and since then I sort of tinkered with it a bit and made it fully automated. So just to make sure that nothing's gonna jump and kill me. Um, so here, oh, as we can see, good example, the wheat is being pulled up, goes through this diamond transport pipe and through an insertion pipe. And in this diamond transport pipe, it separates the wheat to the blue line and the seeds to the yellow line. The blue line goes off into the chest, and yep, I've left the game on for a long time, so this is how much wheat I've collected. And then the insertion pipe works that if there aren't enough spaces for seeds, as you can see this is almost full, it will circle back round and go into the chest as well, hence why we have so many seeds here. But before we start doing something just yet, I spotted this guy over here. So I'm just going to go and kill him. And I think there was a, a golden helmeted guy a bit further on, but I shall deal with him. Oh, there he is. Deal with him now, seeing as there's... Oop. Ha! Right. So, leave those scorpions alone for now. So, in this episode... I would like to build an automated tree farm and I don't really know where to where to put it because if I put it next to this then the fence will go wonky. Um, I was thinking of demolishing this area and setting it up here so that's what I might end up doing. Um, I counted how long or well, how many squares it would take if I built it side by here side by side here and it would turn up like halfway through that obsidian thing. I could make it here Yeah, actually. I'll just set up a, an area of fences for me to do that, and I shall be right back. Actually, on second thought, I think I'll uh, let the logger system set up its own area and then build fences around that. Because then I won't mess up and I'll know exactly how big the area of land is. So I shall do a bit of combat. Oop. And not do very well in this combat. Good thing these skeletons aren't that accurate. So, I shall start building the components of what we need. First of all, we need to make a, uh, what's it called, a logger. Well, this, this will chop down the tree. First we need to make a, um, no wait, arboretum. There we go. That's what I meant. It's a sturdy machine, four gold bars and some glass. So, as you can see, I am prepared for this a study machine, which you've already seen me make for the wheat farm, and glass, like so. I'll break him. And now we go and place this down. Um, oh, didn't think I'd be taking damage there. Um, I want it to be relatively close, so I'll just put it... Um, oh, hello. I don't think I'll make it flush with the ground because that caused quite a few problems before. Um, I'll put it, say, oh, it's going to be close. Put it here. And what we need for this is hummus or hummus or whatever. I'll vary my pronunciation probably. And saplings. And it produces sand. So, and well, first of all, the next part of it is the logger which is made like thus. It's quite expensive. Four diamonds, another study machine, and glass. So let's make another study machine. And let's get some diamonds. 44 diamonds. Oh, that reminds me. In the nature of me filming my episodes, uh, I filmed them, say, like three or four in one day, and then I had coursework and university assignments to do. Well, but whilst I was working, I left my game on, and this is what the result is. <laughs> it's a little bit ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of diamonds, and there's no chance of us running out of resources. Um, but I definitely think that makes the game a little bit unfair, so I'll dip into that only sparingly. So, anyway, let's make the logger, like so. Ooh, I heard some footsteps, but it was just a duck. And before we go out there, let us um, make some more engines, unless we already have some. We have one. 
Oh, what am I talking about? I don't need engines. We need power teleport pipes. So we have one here, and we need some uh, power transport pipes. So let's get some redstone, and then simply put that there, put that there, get power transport pipes. And also we'll need some regular transport pipes for automating the system. And probably need one of those at some point. And maybe another diamond transport pipe. Which is there. Right. So, let's do this. Put the arboretum down and the logger next to it. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be good enough. And if not, then we just ruin our landscape. Never mind. So set that to one, receive true, and it should start building, but of course it doesn't have any hummus, which is made with appetite, which is seemingly the only thing that can't be mined out with the right click function of the dark matter pickaxe. Oh, that's one duh. Um, and in order to make that, we have to first craft fertilizer, which is made with appetite and sand. So I should have some sand. Oh, not this chest. This chest. Nope, I have no sand. Right, let's transmute something. Uh, where's my cluster? Cluster. Suck up that energy and then burn some leather. I don't know this too much, really. That's what I wanted to do. Um, uh, let's just um, burn some gravel. That should do it. I didn't know gravel before. Okay then. Right. Sand. Sand. Good. Good amount of sand. And so we then do this. Get loads of fertilizer. Excellent. And then we need dirt. Now of course I used all my dirt to make scrap. Great. Uh, right. Let's EMC some more up. Um, but first clear my inventory a bit. Don't think we need that. That. Certainly don't need these rubber bits, probably don't need the appetite for now. Daddy. And then burn uh spend some leather. Get some dirt. I definitely need more than that. Um dirt. Oops. There we go. And then to make hummus we surround it with we found the fertilizer with dirt. Like so. And we get lots of hummus. And shift clicking will lag my system. Quad core processor can't deal with Minecraft. Great. So, now that we have this and we need saplings, of course we do. And we have plenty of saplings. Let's place it inside the machine. Double check there's no creepers because that tends to happen. So we place this, this here, and you can see it's already been taken out and used. Oh. The space is a lot smaller than I was expecting. Never mind, I'll uh, extend the fence when I need to. So the out of the logger will come wood. So and saplings. So put that there. And um, an insertion pipe here, here, and then in the blue slot we'll go saplings, and then put the rest in here, and then in the yellow slot comes the wood, and I will eventually set up a teleport pipe system, but for now I'll use a chest. Do I have any? Our chemical chest left, no. Just quickly, sneakily grab one here. Oops. Definitely did not mean to drop my diamonds. That would have been an expensive mistake. And then plop the uh, chemical chest here, and then 
extend this. Oops, this way. No, this way. There we go. So, what should now happen is that it plants the saplings, um, which it doesn't seem to be, but maybe it needs to complete the circle. I don't know. And then it'll grow the tree. The logger will oops, will chop it down. Wood will come out of here and go through the yellow slot. And it would probably be beneficial if I had some wood to put in the yellow slot. And um, where would it be? There. Good. Just need the one. So, oop, yeah, there we go. Started to plant the saplings. Keep doing that. No. There we go. Through the yellow slot. And that'll go into the chest for later storage. As well as any saplings that can't be inserted into here. It will first require me to do. How did I do it over here? Diamond. Oh, different colours. Yeah, that would make sense. Because if I put stone right here, then it would. Then the wood could come out here, loop back around, and try and be inserted into there, and then it would be all messed up. So, if I have been using stone, copper stone, I mean, then I will use normal stone. There we go. Now it's created a completely automatic system, and all I have to do now is manually replace the hummus once it gets used up. And I will eventually fi figure out a system to, to do that, probably with the insertion pipes and teleport pipes. And hopefully with logistics, but I don't know if the version of the of the um, mod will have what I need in here. Um, let's see. The supplier, supplier. I think there's some there's some nifty feature in one of them that would allow a certain amount of hummus to remain in this thing if I so wished. Oh, and it's raining. So we now have an automated tree farm. Success. Um, next, I will show you something that I found when I was mining. Um, I think it's a dungeon because it looks like it, and there were scary noises coming out of it. Uh, but first, I will store these in here. That too, that as well. And then, junk chest for these drops. Um, put the dirt and the sand back. And the wood in here. Wrench in here. And gold, silver, tin stuff in there. And wrench and cluster in there. So! Um, I'll probably need a few more torches, since I have some in here, which I don't. Of course not. Why would I be prepared? Huh. Some silly questions. Definitely won't need that much wood, but I need the planks for later. So there we go, some nice supply of torches. And, excuse me cat, let's head back into the mining shaft, because that's where I found them. And there's quickly eat as well. So. Yeah, I think this is part of Better Dungeons. Um, it looks quite scary. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've just been digging along here for resources. And the offshoots is where I found some veins of oil. Or, even. Not oil. Have found that yet. Not in plentiful. Yeah, but anyway. And here it is. Here is the dungeon. Um, it was. It had something like something like coal ore or copper ore or something. So let's see what's in here. Ooh. What? Okay. Little little creatures. Interesting. Ooh. Strong little creatures. Ooh. What's that? Iron bar. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm gonna not give them any more chance to spawn because I am scared. I should have marked a waypoint, but never mind. Gold and gunpowder. Let's destroy this chest so I don't get confused in the future. Um, while we're here, might as well mine that copper. And there anything down here. Nice little bit of coal. Um, no, nothing. Right. Um, I think... Oh, oh hello. Sneaky up on me. Well, this is a bit anticlimactic, thought it would be a bit scarier than this, but 
Never mind, let's go and explore. This chainmail guy seems to not be very interested. Oh, let's kill him. He's still not interested. Okay then. Whoa, free kill. Are they coming from above me? Is that what it is? Get rid of that. Uh, anything, oh, anything up here? Oh, not glad I missed that. It's a staircase. Let's, uh, let's see what's up here. Maybe this is how I get down to it from wherever the thing started. Maybe. Okay then. Oh. This. Where's that lead? Uh. I, oh. No, that's not where his mind. I am very confused. Um. Let's go. Let's be a bit sneaky and see. Ooh, bedrock. Wow. Okay. No. Oh, gold blocks. Um, I'll leave that for now. I feel like I should be just exploring this um, properly, so I'll just go back up and keep this area in mind and try and see if I can find it without having just to dig my way through. So let's. Oh, let's not lag, please. That would not be good. Oh. game doesn't like me very much. Well, com my computer, whilst in tense situations, doesn't like me very much. Let's drop down there, drop down there. So, um, let's just, just continue exploring the area and see what, what, see what we can see. Oh, this is where the piston was. Okay then. I guess I found it rigidly then, I guess? Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Golden apple and a music desk and gold blocks, which I will very happily take. And to the chest too. Ooh. That's another chest I spied before before my eyes. I only got two gold bells, not, not too shabby. I suppose this has been a relatively easy dungeon. I mean I haven't found it that challenging. Maybe it's been my armour. I do think my armor's a bit, little bit overpowered, but Never mind. Did this go anywhere? Let's power the piston. Take this iron. Take the piston. Yeah, free piston. So, let's uh, explore the rest of this dungeon. Maybe it'll have some more treasures for me. Of course I can't see a thing through all these vines. Um, is there a quick way to get rid of them? I don't know. I probably tried burning them down, but I didn't. don't think I brought flint and steel with me. No. Oh, can I make flint and steel? No, I have an iron ingot, but no flint. Of course. The one time I need gravel. And... no. Oh. I spoke too soon. So, uh, do this quickly. Hopefully it won't take too long. E flint. There we go. Right. Steel and flint. Flint and steel. And let's just set fire to this place. Oop. No, 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 no. Don't set fire to me. Just the vines. So I can see what I'm doing. Mwah. Burn. Everything burn. Burn it down. <laughs> Ooh. This is a dark area. Hey, creepy crawlies. Where are you? There's a creeper. There's a creeper crawly. Hmm. 
I was honestly expecting something a little bit scarier than this. Hmm. Oh, they didn't even seem to be spawning. If I just, well, maybe I'm like going in the wrong direction or missing the areas or something. But there don't seem to be that many of the, that many um, of those little midget things. Unless they're elsewhere, maybe. Hmm. I can hear them. Definitely, they make that sort of s s yeah, that noise. Uh, don't know what you call it. Sucking noise, something like that. Trying to set myself on fire. It's been, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. place for resources though. Some, some nice uh, iron and silver and stuff like that. Uh, anything over here? Some mushrooms. Some copper. Ooh, quite a lot of copper but look at that. Some coal. I can just get to it. Just gonna head back to my base and not be dead or anything. No, nothing. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like I'm just gonna head back to the base. Uh, just yeah, just trundle on back and get myself ready for my next build. Just mind this. Ooh, I hear something. Ooh, great. Okay, right. Another rat. Best dungeon ever. <laughs>